number. So once again, this is teacher Ian, a grade 6 teacher at Fountain School in Kasama, Northern Province of Zambia. Today in Home Economics, we will look at the home. Now it is important before we look at the other topic we are going to look at today, we revise something that we looked at last time. So last time in HE we discussed about something to do with pests. We said pests and we looked at also examples of pests where we looked at we have bed bugs, flies and others and we also looked at the challenges or we can say the dangers and causes that these same pests uh, you know that you know cause human beings we say they cause destruction to the people living in their homes and also the discomfortness now so today we will not look at pests but we will look at eh, floors and walls floors and walls floors and walls will be our lesson for today so I'm urging you and at the same time I'm inviting you to pay attention to what we are going to look at today. So now we can define what a home is. What is a home? A home is a place used as a permanent or semi-permanent residence by an individual or a family. We are saying a home is a place used as a permanent or semi-permanent uh, residence by an individual or a family. So, right, a home, say a home is, a home is a place, a home is a place used as a permanent permanent or semi permanent permanent residence Say tower. 
general maybe basically we can say there are mud floors and walls there are also cement floors and walls there are wooden floors and walls and also tiled floors and walls so we'll begin looking at mud walls and floors we we'll say mud floors and walls what are these? What are these? So, anyway, mud floors and walls are these. These are walls and floors which are made using cow dung. We are saying mud floors and walls. These are floors and walls made using cow dung and water. You can say these. Floors and walls made using cow dung and water. So, in a mud floor and wall, we are saying there's a combination of cow dung and water mixed together for them to form mud floors and walls. These types of walls and floors help worms cool in summer. So maybe we can say the, 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 the importance or the benefit of having uh, floors and walls made out of uh, mud. These, they are cool or they become cool in summer. Summer and also warm in winter. Okay, so we are saying the advantage of using mud floors and walls, these types of floors and walls, they become cool in summer and warm in winter. What about the other, um, maybe the, the other type of cement, the cement floor and walls? So we'll say B. Cement floors and walls. What are these? Cement walls and floors are made out of cement, sand, and water. So we are saying these, these are made out of cement, sand, They give 
a smooth surface which is which is easy to clean and do not do not allow water do not allow water to pass Which is C. The third one, which is C, saying wooden floors and walls. How are these types of floors and walls made? We are saying wooden floors and walls are made from hardwood that is gotten from trees. So these. These are made. These are made from hardwood. Hardwood, which is which is gotten gotten from. So we are saying wooden floors and walls are floors and walls that are made from hardwood, which is gotten from trees. To maybe try to remind you of something, we have soft wood and hardwood. Now, for these types of floors and walls, they use hardwood. Now, what are the advantages of using this? They also help to keep worms cool in summer. So these type of uh, these types or these type of floors and walls they also they they help homes cool in summer and also warm in winter okay so the benefit of using wooden floors and walls we are saying they help homes cool in summer and warm in winter it can also be varnished these types of floors and walls are varnished or painted so that they give a shiny and smooth surface. Okay, we are saying they don't just use hardwood for them to maybe uh, maybe have this uh, type of floor and wall. What we are saying here is they also varnish the surface, and when it is varnished, it will give a smooth and shiny surface that will even attract people. Okay. Then let's go to the last one, the last type of floor and wall, which is being used in different homes. Homes. One which is D. We say towered, towered floors and and wall. We are saying towers and floors, they improve the appearance of the houses and easy to clean. So we are saying there are certain materials that are used for them to have these types of floors and walls. And most of you you see, no, I come from a town house just like that. So now we are saying the advantage of these town floors and walls, they improve the appearance. They improve the appearance. These improve the appearance, the appearance of 
the houses. The houses and they are easy to clean and are easy to clean. So we are saying in a nutshell, tout falls and walls, these improve the appearance of the houses and are easy to clean. Now let's look at something here on this chart for us to consolidate something. On this chart, it is helping us to maybe summarize everything that we are looking at. So it is a definition here which says a home is a place used as a permanent or semi-permanent residence by an individual or family. Types of floors and walls. We said we have mud floors and walls, we have cement floors and walls, we have wood, okay, floors and walls that are made out of wood and also towels, floors and walls that are made out of towels. So the first one is mud walls and floors. These are walls and floors which are made using cow dung and water. These types of walls and floors help homeschool in summer and warm in winter. So here there are two things. I may ask you to maybe uh, describe how mud walls and floors are made out of then at the same time I can ask you the advantage of having mud walls and floors. So the advantage we are saying, the good part about it, because we are saying they help homeschool in summer and warm in winter. Then cement walls and floors, these are made out of cement, sand and water. Three things can help to uh, have a cement or cemented one. So, they give a smooth surface which is easy to clean and do not allow water to pass through them. So, also here we can see that there's an advantage of using cement walls and floors because they give a smooth surface which is easy to clean and do not allow water to pass through them. Then wooden walls and floors, these are made from hard wood that is gotten from trees they also help a i mean they also help to keep homes cool in summer and warm in winter that is an advantage also and they can also be varnished and or painted and they can also be treated with polish to seal their surfaces then the last one towel walls and floors they improve the appearance of the houses and are easy to clean. So these things that are written on the chart, they will help you to take note of something so that they will help you to answer the exercise that I'm going to give you. So the questions are as follows. The first one says, define a home. Define a home. Then number two, state the four types of floors and walls state the four types of floors and walls. Then the third one, I want you to pay attention as I uh, explain what to write on question three. Describe any two types of floors and walls mentioned in question two, above, in question two above, and state their advantages. What you're going to do here on question three is that since on question two, you, you stated four types of floors and walls. Now, in question three, just state two. Then you describe them. You need to describe them, how they are made. And at the same time, when you describe those two uh, types of floors and walls, you also state their advantages. We looked at the advantages and we also described them. So this is where we end for today in home economics when we were looking at the home under floors and walls. So you have been with me, teacher Ian, the grade 6 teacher once more at Fountain School in Kasama, northern province of Zambia. Until next time.